Cuisine Tour. You know, when I eat good tasting food, I feel good myself. How about you? Did the food that you eat today make you feel good or make you feel bad? And on today's cuisine tour, we have some food that was definitely brighten up your day. So let's take a look at them right now. Stuff food from the East and West unite. They are the traditional Korean food, sunde, and Western style sausages. They look so similar that you think they share origins. The battle between sunde and sausages, which will win? The first round between sunde and sausages, how are these two made? First, we'll find out the recipe for Korean sunde. A master maker of sunde. The various ingredients that will fill the sunde. Just how many are there? Uh, I'm not sure. 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 Mix all of the 24 ingredients and here are key tips. As soon as the ingredients are mixed for the sunde, they are stuffed into the intestines. So what is this that holds the sunde together? Sochang, dechang, makchang is in there. They make sunde in the sochang. 이제 이북 지역에서 내려왔던 순대가 이제 막창이라고. 이제 일반적으로 보면 두 가지 순대, 두 가지 창으로 두 가지 창으로 만든다고 봐야 되겠죠. Cook the stuffed sundae in boiling water, but why poke holes? 구멍을 뚫는 건 안에 에어도 빼주고 그래야 안에 깨. 양념 물이 들어가면서 골고루 잘 익어요. 터지지도 안 하고. After the many steps of stuffing and cooking, the dark-colored sundae is ready. Sundae, what color? Blue color. 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 Blue to create color in the sundae, red and green vegetables are used. The sundae ensemble is ready. Just serve with a savory kimchi on the side for flavors that complement each other. Sundae is lightly dipped in salt. Now for sausages. Enough dancing. Let's get right to it. And now we will make Scottish sausage. Here is a 25-year sausage veteran. The first step in making sausages is cutting the pork. Which part should you use? This part is the big shoulder, the front leg up to the shoulder. We use this one because we've experimented with different parts and this we find makes the best sausage. Okay, now we're going to chop everything up. Absolutely everything. Except I hope my fingers don't get in. Yeah. Take the thinly sliced leg piece of the pig and grind it in a machine. Mix in the seasoning. This is seasoning we import specially from Scotland from a wholesaler who makes it up. About 16 different ingredients. Salt, pepper, nutmeg, preservatives and various others. The most important thing when it comes to mixing the ingredients is the balance of it all. Mixing it up, the important thing here is the percentage of each ingredient and only I know. Other people don't know. And that's the way we can keep the making of our quality sausages secret. 
my smallest form of sausage machine. If we get air in there, then as we wind it up, the pressure will build and the air will rush through and explode the skin with a big bang. The outer layer that holds the sausage together used to be pig or cow intestines, like that of Sunde. However, nowadays, more artificial cases made with pig collagen are being used. Sunde with it uses the intestines and the other things which are chopped up and put in there with flavoring. It's nearer that than our sausage, which uses pure meat. After the sausage is stuffed, the next step is to twist it. Well, it's to make sure the sausage keeps its shape when it's cut. Because you're eventually going to cut these into individual sausages. So you've got to get enough twist in to make sure the meat is held in. Hooray! There we go. Handmade sausages take a lot of care to make, and grilling them when fresh is the best way to eat them. How does it taste? That's great. That's really great. Mm. Fresh, traditional Scottish sausages cooked until they're just browned. Dip them in a sweet and sour chilli sauce, and the result? Heaven. It's the second round between Sunde and sausages, which has a longer history. According to the Xi Tonso, what was used to make sunde back then were not only cow and pig intestines, but also fish. The real spread of sausage through Europe came with the Romans. Western-style sausages were found in records of Rome from the Middle Ages. Dried meat or sausages were eaten to compensate for insufficient nutrition. The sausage used around the Mediterranean where they no, need no refrigeration is a dry sausage. It's dried meat preserved in the casing. When the Romans went on their empire building with legions of soldiers, this was one of the best foods for them to carry. And the final round. How good does each dish taste? This is a restaurant specializing in sausages. There are several hundred kinds of sausages, each differs by ingredients and recipe. Such a variety of dishes made with all kinds of sausages. How do you cook them? To create flavor, sausages are cooked on a grill with charcoal. The sausages are cooked until they take on a fragrant and crispy outer layer. The various sausages are cooked at the right temperature and immediately moved to iron boards. The special topping for these sausages is mashed potatoes. A non-greasy taste, a smoky scent, and a marvelous texture of flavors with mashed potatoes. Be sure to enjoy it warm. Cold cut sausages are enjoyed cold.
Cold cut sausages are better enjoyed cold than when they're cooked. Thinly sliced cold cut sausages are served on a plate with chopped vegetables, including onions. Let's take a look at how the dish is enjoyed. Take a piece of sausage, dip it in mustard sauce, wrap it along with the veggies and you have a cold cut sausage wrap. People marvel at the taste of the sausage wrap. What do you say? No sausage would be complete without beer, so have a glass of ice cold beer. How well do you think beer and sausages go together? <laughs> sausages are delicious. The colourful sundae is also a treat not to be missed. Sundae로 하는 요리 뭐두 가지밖에 더 있겠어? 순대국, 순대볶음. A popular sundae-based dish is sundae soup. 무슨 육수예요? 돼지 사골. 사골. A broth made with pig bones contains a generous amount of scallions and also the secret sauce that makes the soup so delicious. The white broth, vegetables and spicy seasoning are boiled together to create the mouth-watering flavours of sundae soup. Perilla seeds are generously sprinkled to make it savoury. The broth tastes clean and the tight sundae is filled with delicious ingredients of its own. It's a truly tasty dish. 자, 조심하세요. 입맛에 중독되면 약도 없습니다. 네? 어디에요? 그게 얼큰하고 매콤한 순대 볶음. Stir fry various vegetables in a skillet. Add sundae and seasoning and continue to stir fry. What's the important thing to remember when making sundae stir fry? 양념이 제대로 순대 안에 잘 배는 거. The well-seasoned sundae is spicy and deliciously stir-fried. The dish is too delicious to enjoy alone. The hot broth goes well with sundae. What does the sundae soup taste like? Sundae also goes well with soju. All across the globe, similar dishes are called by different names. In a world of varied races and languages, food continues to be a universal instrument that brings people closer. Welcome to Healthy Kitchen. Today we have another healthy and wonderful ingredient awaiting you. But before we even get into that, let's introduce our chef, okay? Here she is. Today's chef is a 20-year veteran of cooking, Anita Bedini. Oh, I miss you. Oh, me too. Yeah, my yeah. Italian mother. Oh, thank you, thank you. Okay. Gracias. What is um, today's healthy ingredients? So... Now I know what it is. Yes, your acting skills just gave me the answer. Today's healthy ingredient is spinach. Except for some regions in the tropics, this healthy green vegetable is grown everywhere in the world. It's spinach. What you have to have with the spinach is very good combination. You, have, you need B, vitamin B12, you need fish, you need liver. Together is going to be very good for the health. But with spinach, you don't have to put another ingredient which have a lot of iron, because spinach is already too much iron. Another ingredient with too much iron together is not fitting. So you don't have to mix together these two things. And this is very good for you if you think about it. Let's find out a little bit more about spinach yes. and how it can be good for your health through some key phrases, okay? Okay. So first keyword, please. The 10 health foods of the world. 
top 10 health foods. Wow, so is it really that healthy for you? Yes, spinach is one of the 10 healthy foods chosen from the Time magazine. Oh. The spinach has a lot of calcium and a lot of iron, which is very, very good. And you can eat as much spinach you want because in one plate you have only four kilo um, calories. So is that why my Italian mom's figure is so nice? Oh yes, because I eat a lot of spinach. Really? I like spinach. Can I get a, a little pose from you? From you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, a long time. There yes. you go. Remember last time she gave me a lot of poses. I took a lot of pictures of you. Okay, well then, let, can we have our second keyword please? Spinach alone won't make Popeye strong. Wait a minute. His keywords cannot be right. Popeye, he did get his energy from the spinach, no? I mean, he used to get so big after he ate it. No. Popeye didn't get his source. Only for spinach, no. But this cartoon is made, it's like a trick for the children. So the children, they watch Popeye, and they think to eat a lot of spinach, they get strong. So they eat spinach because the papa is a hero. You know, it's a trick for the children. So the parents, it's easy for the parents to make the children eat the exactly. spinach. Okay. And then spinach also is good for the eyes. It's good so for the eyes. yes. Oh, that's why I have such good eyesight because I see spinach all the time when I was younger. Cool. Yeah. Like I can see everything. Oh, like you see like about 200 feet up yeah. there. I see a little ant. He's wow. carrying food good. up good. Yeah, up the wall. Good. And good. Yeah. Yes. He's he's hurt right now. I can see that. See, because you eat a lot of spinach. Exactly. So, Nita, what are we making today? Today we make cannellone with uh, spinach and manzo e prosciutto. Really? So, um, shall we introduce our ingredients for today? Yes. Why? Okay, so let's do this. Let's see. Since we're doing spinach, yes. you can be Olivia and I can be Popeye. Yes, Popeye. Okay, ready? Hey, Olivia. Yes. What is today's main ingredient? Today, main ingredient is spinach. Spinach. Popeye. And I, I. Anything else, Olivia? Yes, white flour, olive oil, prosciutto, manzo. Really? Yes. It's, okay, well, that's all we need. And, oh. You see that? That's Brutus. Just run away, run away. Oh, go, 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 go. Let's get cooking. Okay, first of all, we make the pasta dough. See, at least this is for two eggs. Normal 200 grams flour. Okay, see, to make dough, by hand like this, uh -huh. is very good for your muscles. Yeah? Oh, oh I need it. Yes. I already have muscles. Look at this. Really? Uh, Ginger? I okay. I my shirt. Please. My Popeye. Go ahead. Huh? Go ahead. No, You're very strong. Oh, my. Flatten the flour dough and cut in lengths of 25 centimeters. Lightly cook in hot water. If I blanch too much, what happens to the spinach? If, if, you, if you blanch the spinach too much, um, it might lose its flavor and its color. Yes. Because of the hot water. Yes. Yeah. So, so it should keep only just one moment to get a little salt. Okay. That's all. And okay. then ice water. Ice water. By the way. Yes. All right. So this is the hot water right yeah. now. And it's just a few seconds, and then straight ice water. This, this is beef. Oh. This is is prosciutto. So what's prosciutto? Prosciutto is Italian ham. It's uh, really professional make. It's, uh, we have, it's special from Italy. Goodness. Mm. So now we put a little bit ricotta cheese. That's a little bit? A little bit. <laughs> okay. Add the cooked spinach and eggs and mix. Usually when I eat meat, I feel a lot of energy. Then I feel like Popeye. Ah, yes, yeah. because you mix with, uh, you mix proteins, you mix exactly. clear, we have carbohydrates, we have fat, exactly. we have uh, iron, we have everything. Calcium, everything. Oh, yeah. so then you can, then, then you can say I am Popeye. Yeah, then if, if, if a girl like a, Olivia or you says save me, I can uh, save you. Yeah, yes. But if I don't eat meat, so, then I can't save no. you. So I, I, you know, I say, hey, okay, call somebody else.
tan 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 It's about that time again to answer your question. Anita, are you ready to answer any question? Jeff, what do you think I am? Of I think... course, yes. You sure? Yes. Okay, so show us the question. What if you used a little too much salt while seasoning spinach? How can you lessen the intensity of overly salted food? All right, here I am in the street again. I got kicked out of the kitchen. But I'm going to ask the random people, how do you make salty food unsaltier? What do you put in there? Add water, sugar, I don't know. Well, no, just add something like some, wow, some potato chips or something. <laughs> make it saltier. <laughs> you don't know, you want to make it unsaltier. I know, I like salt. You, oh, you like salt? I have food and sugar. Sugar? Why yeah. do you put in sugar? Vinegar, definitely vinegar. No, 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 it's sugar. Sugar makes it much more unsalted. I wouldn't do anything. I would just deal away. with it. All right, so throw it away. you throw it away and you just eat it? Yeah, I drink some water. <laughs> and, you, and you drink water with it. <laughs> and you throw it away. <laughs> the guesses were water, sugar and vinegar. What's the best ingredient for the job? I'm back. Oh, so. Okay, so I found out three answers. People said water, some people said sugar, and some people said vinegar. One of these has got to be the answer, right? Oh, Jackie, you very good job. Bravo. Yeah. Which one is the answer? Yes. Which one? So, try vinegar. We did what the chef said and added vinegar to the salty food. The result? One, two, After comparing the responses three. of tasters who tested the salty food and the food with the vinegar, it's clear that vinegar uh, lessens saltiness. Yeah. Better? Yeah, that's yeah, a lot better. The vinegar, yeah. It seems like the vinegar works. Yes. But why does it work? How does it work? Because the vinegar you have is acid, it's uh, sour. Mm -hmm. So it's uh, giving this little bit sour taste. Sour so taste. you don't feel too much the salt. Oh, and it, it kind of like it balances can, out yes, the taste, little, huh? yes. kind of pushes the salt taste yes, away. Little, and put the yes. Sour taste in. There's your answer right there. Got it. Now we take aluminum foil. aluminum foil, you put here, we put the stuffing, okay. It looks like a, like a soccer field, like you're spreading out the leaves <laughs> or like the grass. Okay. Oh, that's a cool way to roll it. Okay. okay. Like this. Oh, it looks like a kimbap. Okay, now we put in the water, water for 10 minutes. For 10 minutes. Boil onions, white wine, flour, whipped cream and bay leaves and sieve to make the white sauce. Spinach juice? Yes. The color seems very wonderful, but uh, where have I seen this color from? Ah, Shrek. It looks like Shrek sauce. If you put Shrek in a blender, it would look like this. What is this Shrek? Shrek. You know the, the, the monster Shrek? The green monster? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Hey, donkey. Yes. You know that guy? Yes. Yeah, that's, that's, that's Shrek. If you put him in the blender... It's uh, coming like this. And Fiona... Oh, uh, yes. Fiona. You're Fiona, yeah. I'm Shrek? Uh, no, no. I don't think so. Cut the ingredients and place on top of the white sauce. Sprinkle green sauce all over and garnish with deep-fried cherry tomato skins and spinach leaves. And there you have the cannelloni di spinaci manzo e prosciutto. The green freshness of spinach right on your plate. Mm -mm -mm. That is wonderful, oh my goodness. You start feeling papaya now? I... Yes? You can serve me now? I can save you, but I'm not papaya. I feel like Iron Man. Okay. All the iron in the spinach. Yes. Mm. And all the nutritious elements in the food. Mm. I feel like Iron Man. Hey, come It'll on. Stick. Wow. I need to eat some more. Yeah. I need to eat some more. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. Today, me, Popeye, and Olivia made a nutritious and delicious dish. And I hope you guys can make it and share it with your loved ones. So good. Thank you. 
Ciao. Oh my goodness. It was my it was very fun, very nice, and I hope to see you again. Yeah, oh my Italian mommy. Uh, All right, well, that's it for today's week of cuisine tour, and hopefully you can join us next week. Until then, bye bye. Ciao. Ciao.